Minecraft is such a bad game. Yesterday I played Minecraft for the very first time and my first impressions include disappointment to say the very least. When someone plays a game that was acquired by Microsoft in the year of 2014 for approximately $2.5 billion and yes that is with a B for billion one expects it to have at least playable graphics. Making a single player world and being able to play with someone in LAN came with its own complications that as a very untechy person required way too much effort to simply join each other's world. I spent about 30 minutes of my time just trying to figure out how to join a world that should have shown up on its own but i had to find something that was called an ip address like who even knows what an ip address with a bunch of random numbers even is do people just carry those around in their wallets to have whenever they need it or something anyways so i was finally able to create a world in single player and hop on with a friend and we were both left with the feeling that we were missing something and by something i mean graphics i put my settings to the highest possible setting and even put this thing on that minecraft calls fancy but i was still Still seeing squares for some reason. When I zoomed in, you could see little squares in the squares. This was absurd. Why would I pay $30 for a game that has pixels all over it? It's almost as if the game was released before it was even made ready for the public. Taking a look at the release date and one starts to wonder if it's even accurate. Was it really released more than 10 years ago, but they haven't made any progress in not only the graphics, but also the functionality of the game entirely and making it easier for people to join each other's worlds? Apart from it having pixelated graphics, we have a game that simply does not have a story or a plot. It seems like the main purpose of the game is to spawn into this randomly generated world, make a house to stay safe from the countless amount of mobs, look for resources, become stacked enough to kill the dragon, and in the end, not sure why this game has become so popular over the years when there is literally nothing to do. We take a look at other games and can immediately tell that there's a huge difference in not only the storyline, but the amount of things that one as a player or as a gamer can do. 